Hey folks, this is question 12. So it asks us to draw the perpendicular. It's, it's the perpendicular bisector of any of those lines, pretty much of AB, AC, or BC. Now, you'll need a compass and a ruler to do this, but I can explain how to do it. So if, I'll just do it on the line a b so you can do it on b c either or on a c but what you do is you put your compass on one of the blue lines there so if you are blue points so if you put your compass there on a then you extend out your compass a little bit more than halfway and you'll be drawing an arc around like that and then without moving the compass in or out you do the same from the other side and then you'll draw you'll end up having an arc like that and that forms this point and this point then where the arcs meet and then it's just a matter of drawing a line through the middle and that will be the perpendicular bisector then and it's that will be a line of symmetry of the graph now this is a very rough drawing here but your one should actually go down through that point down there so it should be something like that So I'll write down the size of the angle ACB. Well, it states up above that it's an equilateral triangle, therefore the angle has to be 60 degrees. So I just have to write down 60 there. Now for the next part, it tells us that BC is 40. Therefore, I can put a 40 in there. That means that this has to be 40 as well because it's a right angle triangle. Now, we know that this angle is 60. Therefore, it just forms an arc. So if you just look at that blue arc, all we need to do is we just need to find the length of this much around here. And that's just the part of the circumference therefore we're going to use the formula theta over 360 times 2 pi r therefore the angle at the center is 60 over 360 times 2 times I need to put in the multiply signs really times pi times the radius which is 40 therefore it's just using calculator from there and rounding it to two decimal places and we should get 41.89 um, yeah centimeters That's all then for question 12.